Okay, Monique, no worries. Hello, Dr. Dot. Hey, Dot, are you streaming tomorrow? Is tomorrow a stream day for you? Can't remember what week we're on or if you've said. I want to show Elisa's blanket. <laughs> I started over late last night. <laughs> <sighs> because I decided I wanted four squares in the center, not three. So I started over. Uh-oh, hold on. I've got to fix my color a little bit here. Oh, wait a minute. I know one thing that might help it. Another light. Let's see if that helps. No. There we go. Hello, Judy. Hello, Dar. Hello, Safia. Sophia. Joyce C. Hello, hello. Hey, Linda Joe. Welcome, welcome. I think it's the first time you've been to my stream. So this is Elisa's blanket. It's a different pattern from Tills. I showed Tills at my last stream or part of it. His is finished. So um, his had just two, his had a variegated green and blue and then a green. Elisa's has the variegated and then a, a blue violet and red violet. Thanks, Ange. So that is Haley. <coughs> so that's going to be Elisa's. They're not quite, they're gonna not going to be quite like a full twin size blanket. I want them to have them more as a kind of a lap blanket. Um, a blanket that they can curl up with on the sofa to read or watch TV or whatever. Because they're constantly playing with their mother's blanket off her bed or the dog's blanket. <laughs> So I wanted them to have blankets that were like their own. Yep, we switched over. <coughs> yeah, I figured, Kalina. All right, so today I'm going to play with my cinch. If you don't know what the cinch is, hold on, let me grab it. It's sitting on the floor here until I need it. It is a binding system, a hole punching and binding system. This is it. It hole punches and it binds your wires. All right. Yeah, it's kind of in between. It's in between a lap blanket or throw and it's a little bigger than the throw patterns. I'm just making it, making up my, like the pattern is a pattern I'm following, but for size, I've, I've made some changes for size because I don't like to always follow patterns. I do if I'm making sweaters, but blankets, you know, you can kind of, so it's kind of in between a lap blanket throw and a, and a twin size. It's kind of in between. So yeah. And I bet, Okay, so I um I got in on the deal for Wonderlust thirty percent off um early bird price. I think I got it like the day before it ended. Thank goodness I saw Eileen tweet about it because I had planned on joining this year and I had money set aside to do it. So I was glad I got in for the money uh, for the early bird price. But even without the early bird price. It's a very reasonable priced course. It's $150 US and it's for the whole year. So I think there's like 50 or 51 lessons um, by many artists. Go to the Wonderland Wonderlust page. Maybe Eileen can go and grab the link for the Wonderlust page. So even for 150 bucks at 51, that's still only like three bucks a lesson. And they're really good. I am really going to try and do 
This is my Wonderless from when I belong joined in 2016. Uh, you can see how many of the <clears throat> lessons I did. I did some of the techniques in my, just my regular journals, but I didn't do it separately. But I also hate this binder. I really, it annoys me. You have to kind of put it up and over the D-ring. It bugs me. So, oh, uh, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to repunch these. The cinch uses these O-rings. Um, the same as the find it all. The rings are the same, just rebranded, different company, but they're, they're, they're the same. They're interchangeable um, rings. Hi, Eileen. About time you got here. Sheesh. Um, <coughs> <coughs> well, hi there. I'm Music Scrap, the Musical Scrapper. It is a beautiful, sunny, warm, very warm September day here on the east coast of Canada. I think Florence has moved all the warm humid air up here to us um we do tend to get some warm september days but uh, it's been quite a few in a row that we've had so yay Ange. okay so this was a this was a jelly print that i did that I just glued on the back of this. This was just a binder from a, I grabbed, nabbed it from school. It was a binder with um, home renovating ideas or something in it. This is a jelly printed page. I just don't like the way this works. So I'm gonna do a new one. Hi Sharon, hello Marie, hello Mindy. Okay, so first thing, before I do my pages though, I need to make my covers for my journal and I need to make some inserts, like monthly um, inserts with tabs. So, um, for the cover, my nice new black, chipboard hi Nikki you made it you did it you did just starting this is graphics medium weight chipboard ordered on Amazon free delivery yay because if I had to pay delivery it would cost a lot because it's heavy stuff hey CB Oh, actually, I'm going to need more than two because, because there are going to be dividers, I'm going to make it more than the six inches wide. So that means I am going to need two pieces of chipboard and not one. I am also going to need my chipboard blade. Oh, there's my, oh gosh. I was looking for that the other day when I wasn't feeling well. My thermometer. I have an old blade that I've marked with black so that I know it's my chipboard blade. Pretty late, very quickly, so you do not want to use a new blade. Hi, Paula. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. All right, make them six and a half, and I think, uh oh, measure. Let's measure. nine i think because i'm pretty sure it's half of a yeah 
it's half of a 12 by six, um, or, excuse me, nine by 12. It's half of a nine by 12 mixed media journal. So, so I'm gonna make it six and a half wide. So it'll have enough room for the tabs. I didn't realize it was a Crayola thing, Eileen. All right, making sure I put my black X. Now this will cut the chipboard, but <clears throat> what you have to do is do one side, then you see that it cuts all the way through except for that last slice of the paper on the second side. So you just put it back down, flip it over, and that will cut that last. I didn't quite get it lined up very well, but that's okay. I've got stuff that's gonna fall on me in a minute. So if you hear a crash, it's just a craft a lanch. And it doesn't have to be a whole bunch taller, but I like it to be a little taller than my pages just to um, just protect the edge of the pages. So I'm going to do it at nine and a quarter, and that'll even an eighth at the top of each page. Okay, yes, Jean, but get some copper, whatever, any of the inks you have, mica in them. What? What for, I mean? Hello? So did you, um, Paula, did you order it from the um, Amazon US with the shipping? Because it's cheaper than Amazon Canada. It's still, it's 10 bucks cheaper to order it from Amazon US and pay the shipping. Yes, the the in that marker maker the ink goes the ink goes into the felt just like a felt tip marker just like a Crayola marker. Hi Zoe. They don't have it. You got it on Amazon Canada. Can you send me the link, Paula? Because I please tweet me the link. Because I tried it on Amazon Canada and I didn't find it at all. Sorry. So I'm doing nine and a quarter. Oops. And I'm just bent it back to get it off. It works just as well, too. Hi, Janet. Okay, so there's one. Hmm. 
<laughs> so I'm doing six and oh. Yeah, Paula, I was thinking I would try my Sergeant Art in them. It is speeding very fast. Yeah, Micah's wouldn't release from something like that, I wouldn't imagine. Uh, nine and a quarter. Put this back away so I don't end up trying to cut paper with it and getting annoyed. All right, so now I need some pages that are six by nine to use for my divider. So I've got some of my Oh, this is a folder, but hey, that would be a cool divider. So, it already has a tab on it, sort of. Six. Nine. You know what? I think I'm going to take the actual tab that's here off. And I'm going to make all the tabs the same. So that'll be one divider. I need one divider for each month, she suggested, for your journal. That one kind of would be bent. I don't know if it's got six inches here or not. It might. Not quite. But I, I'll use it if I need it. Uh, I can put this on the binding edge if I... Yeah, I don't need my markers to smell. I was never fond of smelly mar markers. Okay. All right, let's see what I got next. Oh, I've got another folder. Ooh, this one's cool. I know I shouldn't really be cutting up my folders, but I wasn't using it for anything else. So, you know. Ha! 
how many markers will the kit make guys Oh, it was ironing. Oh. Oh, thanks, Marie. 16. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, nine, right? Nine inches. Yours is 36. Well, definitely send me your link, please, when you get a chance. If you don't mind, Paula. Some of these I made like eons ago and just they've just been sitting waiting for a project because I've been watercoloring since January 2017 because I really wanted to hone up my watercolor skills, you know, and be pretty confident with them before I started switching back to acrylics again and going back and forth. So I decided that Wanderlust was a perfect chance for me to get back into my mixed media journaling stuff. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see. Oh, a lot of these are... <laughs> I obviously did a lot of file folders the day I grabbed... The ones I grabbed are all like file folders. That's all right. I'm gurgling. Well, it might surprise you, Eileen. Crayola makes a lot of really cool stuff. And it's for kids, so usually they're sturdy. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Pardon the asthma cough, but, you know, they were streaming or cutting the grass this morning. And yay, Dr. Dot. No worries, Monique. If you doze off, doze off. Means you need it. I I will never get mad at someone for falling asleep in streams, even though I never do it. Anyway. Okay.
Okay, Dr. Dot. Joycey, I think you mixed up. It's Dorothy that's back, not Helen. Helen is Picola. Pandora's is Dr. Dot. Dr. Dot. Dorothy or Dot. So that is two, four, that's six. I need six more. Oh, what happened here? Hold on. Hold the fort. It ended up being more than six. I need to trim this this way. I hate to even throw. Oh, hey, Helen. There you are. Maybe you did say hello and I just do. This is a cleanup print. Isn't that amazing? I love my cleanup prints. Yes, sorry, Bob, I do. Yeah, and like lemmings, we all just jump on the bandwagon, Galena. <sighs> Silly people that we are. Uh, sorry. Thanks, Sharon. All right, Tracy. Yumminess. <laughs> Some trees on the other side. Some of them are double sided. Some are not. It's all right. Whichever way works, works. saying something I assume you were talking about decorating my cover with something is that what you were talking about earlier
Oh, you were saying something about my shimmer paints or go. I don't know what you were saying mm, when I first brought out my black chipboard. All right, I'll just ignore what you were saying because I missed something along the way. Uh oh, sorry, I laid that down crooked. Let's try that again. Oh, you were talking about the markers. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> Gotcha. Uh -oh. No, actually, I think I need. I think I'm gonna gonna lay it upside down just because it's, it's easy. Curling work a little less. All right, and one more. So, Well, I have no Jane Davenport markers, and I'm just fine with that. Just saying. And trim a little bit off here. Oh, actually, I think this this one will make a little more purple because the other one has more the teal on it. Just make them a little more different. Oh, nine inches G, not six. Oof, almost messed that one up. All right. So for now, that's not needed. Okay, Zoe. <clears throat> oh, by the way, Eileen. I got my eight by six cutting mat to try with my dies, but you know, it's way thinner. It's like only, here, let me see if I can show you. I don't even think it's half as thick as my one I was using, my smaller one. No, I, I just got it today. I just got it, I just got it out of my mailbox today. So I have not tried it yet. You tried it? Like, I don't know if it's going to work because it's so much thinner than my other one. But you know what it will work with? It will work with my embossing with my magnetic plate. Or I can just use this one. Because it's, it's 
big enough for most of my dies, right? So, start with. I can't remember what company that blue one is. It came with um, a paper piercer or something. <clears throat> oh, you have you've used it with shims, okay? All right. Well, I didn't have to use shims with my other blue ones because it was thick enough. Oh darn! I did want. I do need something. Okay, so I do have these. Plastic, well, they call them page protectors, but they're, I used one to emboss the other day. Wait, that's not the one. I embossed the stone wall on one of these. But I'm going to cut one, uh, two down, and I'm going to put them in my journal. They're made by... Camp Camaret or something. I don't know. They're just from the dollar store. So I'm going to take out two. And sorry, just a moment trying to apologize for all the crinkly uh, plastic noise. So I'm going to cut two of these down. Two nine inches tall. Make sure I don't cut the bottom because the bottom is closed. So I'm gonna make pockets. <clears throat> All right, so actually I'm gonna make it a little less than nine. So I'm gonna make it eight and three quarter. No. Eight and seven eighths. Eight and seven eighths, I'm making it. Ooh, that might work for some like markers or something. Page. I got an idea for that too. All right, so then make sure I do the open side. I'm going to do about a six and a quarter for these so they'll be a little wider than the pages, <clears throat> but not as wide as the whole book. I'm going to keep those because they can work for bookmarks or something. Okay. So, all right, so now I have a little insert I can add. Hey, June! I am making a journal. So right now I'm just trimming down my pages and my inserts. Making sure I'm trimming the right side, correct side. All right. So put those with my dividers. All right, so now I need to make my tabs for my dividers. Oops, hold on. Lock my bar. There we go. I've got my kitchen scissors because I couldn't find my uh, wire cutters. All right, so now my tab punch. Mm -hmm. 
All right, I've got some, uh, so I trimmed off. Where did my bone folder go? I had it out and was using it last stream. And now it's hiding on me. There it is. All right, so this is a We Are Memory Keepers tab punch. Now, if you just punch like this, you get a one-sided tab to put on. But hope this chip, hope this cardstock's not too heavy. What I like to do is to fold over my paper and then line it up so that it's not quite all the way down. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Hold on. Um, Sorry, I need this at, I need to trim it. Sorry. So I have my fold here and I go down in and I make sure what is going on? I want to go in there. Something stuck. Hold on. Ah, sorry. There's a piece of cardstock stuck in there. I was like, I want to go down. So you want to put it in your punch so that the fold's not quite to the top because I don't want the top to cut through my fold. <clears throat> uh oh. All right. So now I have a tab that I can fold over and glue on. All right. So you just have to have it already folded. I should have done it the other way, you silly girl. Sorry, right. I'll do the rest the other way. So I'm gonna have to line it up and then turn it over so I can get enough power behind my punch. All right, so once again, lining it up. So it's not going to cut through. Yeah, Eileen, it's been so long since I've done it. I forgot how to do it. <laughs> That's why it took me a couple of minutes to figure it out. Hold on. Where? All right. Where'd my other one go that I punched earlier? What did I... Hello, where'd you go? Now I only have one because I lost one. Oh, no, there it is. One, two. I'm going to fold it this way. And it's harder to fold because it's the wrong way of the... But that's all right. doesn't have to be perfect because you can work the punch to make it straight so
three. Oh, see if you go too far up, close to the fold, uh, which I obviously did when I turned it over there. Messed that one up. Uh, all right, let's try her again. See, they, they designed it this way because they have this, um, they sell this plastic coating thing that is this shape that you can like add over, like stickers that you can add over top of them. Of course, they want you to buy that too. It would, oh, and I do have, I do have tab dies, Eileen, but this is just what I thought, and I just put my, uh, I just put my big shot away, so yeah, I could have also done them on a cameo, that would have been a lot easier too, but anyway. I have tab dies, not the shape tab dies, but I do have different shape tab dies, but all right, so that's four. I think this regular card is better than the file folder. It might punch a little easier. We'll see. Ooh, ooh. You know what I need to do?
Oops. I really need to mark the so this would make it much easier. Yeah, Jillian, I know the feeling. I'm strong, Eileen. Strong. Three more. You know the saying, you can dress me up, but you can't take me anywhere because I'm always spilling food on me. Well, the funny part is you can't even dress me up, let alone take me anywhere. So, one, ten, I think. I'll recount when I do two more just to make sure. For those of you who came in late, I'm making my Wonderlust Arch Journal. We'll see if I work in it this year. That's the plan for January is to start getting back into my mixed media. Oh, not giving up my watercolor. I'll never give up my watercolor, but I just feel comfortable enough with my watercolor now to start going back and forth. Okay, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so now I need them. <coughs> Now I need my, what do I need? Oh, yeah, double-sided tape, but I forgot to grab a roll of my, oh, wait a minute, I might have, is my roll here that I have to use up still? Or did I use it up? the other day. One moment, please.
Okay, I'm back. Whoa. Oops, sorry about that. All right. Hey, CB. Well, I'm not, it's not for this. I'm doing next year's. If anything is bigger than my nine by six, then it'll have to go elsewhere, I guess. But she suggested the small size um, Dilutions journal. And I did buy a small size Dilutions journal. And then I decided since... I wanted to make my own. Okay, so this I'm going to use. These ones I'm going to use for the front cover. Hey. Oh, yeah, exactly. Unlike life book. Life book, well, I did that one year and had to had to ignore half of the lessons because it was like stupid. If I want to do meditation, which I don't, I'll go do yoga. <laughs> I I'm six and a quarter. I want a little edge of black, but not a whole lot, actually. I'm going to make them six. And there we go. Three eighths by eight and three eighths. No, eight and seven eighths. For the outside. The inside ones can be a little smaller. <clears throat> Is that yummy? Ooh. Hi, May. So that's for the outside covers and for the inside <clears throat> all right so now for the inside cover do I just want the plain orange? Do I want the one with some texture? That is, I think I'm going to do with, hmm, no, I'm going to go with the one with the texture. Okay, so these I'm just going to do with six inches because the inside I like to have a little bit more of my black showing. So it's just a little different.
All right, so let's cover my... Okay, so... I'm going to use my 3 8 inch, so 3 8 or 5 8 I can't remember which I bought. Inch. Joycey. All right. So the outside is getting these papers. Oh, no, Kimberly. The express it high tack tape, which is which is equivalent to their. It's just as good as the score tape. The um, their regular tape isn't quite as sticky as score tape, but the high tack I find is, and you get way more on your roll for a better price. So. one down the middle and then the rest I just use my glue stick okay so All right, then I'll go around the edges in case I went over the edge with any of it, which I did. So I just fold it under before I put it down. The places where there's no double-sided tape, I just add some glue just to give a bit of a hand. So it's all the way on the edge on my binding side. All right, I'm just going to put it so that the binding side's towards me because I kind of messed it up a little bit there. I didn't get it on straight. I wasn't careful. I did it had the binding side the wrong way. They didn't quite see it straight, but that's okay. I can fix it.
think the little turn south at the uh, at the end saved you a lot of damage, Kimberly, because. Well, I guess now you kind of hope it stays a little bit windy, not damaging windies, but breezy, because that'll help the water dry up more quickly if there's a little bit of a breeze. I feel for the poor people in the Philippines. Their typhoon was like twice as strong as Florence. I don't know if it was as large, probably was. All right, I need to. I went over the edge here a little bit on my this edge, so I'm gonna try and just trim off the the extra there. All right, so that's the front cover. Oh, good, Jillian. Well, I guess. Of course. <clears throat> He'll go home to a mess, perhaps. All right, so this side is going to be the blinded side for this one. So this one needs to go to the edge on this side. Okay. Sorry, I'll get to the cinch part in a minute, but it's all about journal making, so my covers, but I'll show you all the cool things the cinch can do once I get this stuff all ready to go. It's a breezy day outside here, too. Thank goodness, because it was really hot. The sun was really hot when I was walking down to my mailbox today. Gosh, man. It was, if it hadn't been for the little bit of a breeze, 
it would be while well, it was really hot on the weekend too i think florence blew all its moved all the warm humid air up here well it wasn't really humid today but it was cold. it was warm like a summer day I always remember to take my bat tape. I remember. Don't always remember. Take the backing off my tape before I put my glue stick down because otherwise, by the time I glue down to do it again, which has been known <clears throat> to happen to me. You fell asleep, Judy. Welcome back. Vicky's working on a commission, a painting, Vicky. I saw you say that earlier, and I knew someone asked what kind, and then I didn't see if you had answered or not. So this express it tape is made by Copic. Vicky does amazing paintings. If you haven't seen her, I I finally got to a live stream last week. Jeez, kept missing her. She always seemed to be on when I fell asleep or was napping or something. Anyway, so I finally caught her live stream and she showed me, <gasps> she showed us her oil painting of her daughter. Oh my, what a talented lady Vicky is. Oh, 20 by 16 encaustic portrait. Ooh. Oh, wow. So with encaustic, um, Vicki, um, I assume you have to do when it's complete some kind of a fixative, right? Because it would be prone to melting. <laughs> I mean, I've done play stuff with, you know, crayons, melted crayons and stuff, but I've not done any like real encaustic stuff. Oh, I don't know about that now, Vicky. Uh, don't talk about being sleepy because now I want to yawn and I'm trying not to yawn because once I yawn, I'll be I'll be really sleepy. <laughs> oh dear. Well, at least you guys can count yourselves lucky that I've got my paper all cut down already. You can be grateful for that. I do have to hole punch it and snip it though, because I am going to make the pages so that they'll come out, come out like with the disc binding, but you have to hand snip the holes. So I 
Oh, okay. All right. Oh, the you use a type of resin. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, CB, I know, right? So I'm just going down. I went over the edge with my double-sided tape. So I'm just going to, if any sticking out in the end, you can just... Um, Didn't quite get it in the middle of the close enough. All right. Okay. Front and back cover. Now I need to label. going to be have one one of these little uh, plastic folders at the front and one at the back make sure I don't put them punch them upside down or inside out okay they won't hold a lot the little pockets but they will hold like a pay you know a couple of pages or whatever just in case there's anything I want to, you know, glue in or use. And I don't have time to do it right at the moment. Okay, so. All right, somewhat random order. Get my Micron pen. January. February. June. And no, Janet, I'm not using a ruler. I'm not measuring to make sure I have them right in the middle. Some of them are a little lopsided, but eh. Hey, Lori. Where did I leave off? July, August. September. Oh, don't know why I put the fourth letter on that one. 
have it. October. I should punch one more. That one's really, really crooked. November. I know Eileen thought I was done. She was probably like, yay. And now she's like, no. Not another one. <sighs> Sorry, Eileen. Gotta do it. Way too crooked. <clears throat> All right, where'd you go, silly? What did they do with my punch? Oh, there it is. <clears throat> I am making a journal for my Wonderlust class. That is what I am up to, Lori, and I'm going to play with my cinch in a minute. I'm just doing my dividers and my covers <clears throat> hold on all right it's only punch is only made for going through one so i'm lucky i get through my two at all okay december <sighs> Doesn't start till January, but I'll be all ready. I've got so much stuff going on between now and January. This way, it'll be ready to go. I'm going to use my thinner tape, quarter inch. Lori, I didn't sleep too much last night either. And I woke up this morning. I was trying to explain to Dee Dee. I woke up this morning thinking it was Sunday. And so then by the time I woke up, I woke up without my alarm or anything at like 9.29. And on my iPad was my notification that Dee Dee was streaming art books or whatever. And I was like, Oh my gosh, it's Sunday. What's Dee Dee doing streaming on Sunday? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's not Sunday, it's Monday. Hey, we Sarah. Oh, how is we how is we Rona doing? Well, that's hard to say fast. Poor pup. I saw her photos and I was like, oh, the poor little pup. Oh, that's good. Like, is she allergic to them or do dogs just react like that anyway? I gotta start at January. You know what? I'm going to tear some off. That roll is just like too big to use that way. January.
And it was an allergic reaction. Okay, I was going to say it had to be an allergic reaction. It couldn't be just a normal dog reaction to a sting. So that was poor thing. So I'm putting the tape on both edges because one will be on one side of the page and one will be on the other side of the page. So. I'm just trying to get all the tape on and then I'll put them all in place. It's just easier that way. Oh. oh, I think it was an extra one. Oh, no, it was my June. Oh, hold on. I lost my June. Oh, good. It's on my footstool. <sighs> hey, Aditi. I'm just getting my tabs ready, and I'm almost ready to play with my cinch. I've been making my cover and my page dividers for my Wonderlust journal. I'll do that address change on your uh, resume for you, Ange, and uh, email it to you whenever I'm done my stream here. That is easy peasy to do. Okay, one more. I know my tabs aren't fancy, but my pages are. So that's what counts. Okay, Lori, no problem. Not a problem. Okay, so there's January. February. Yes, Dee Dee, I, I was going to say that, and then I thought, oh, maybe, 
maybe you want to tweet her and say it. So I didn't tell her I was going to. And I thought, oh, no, Dee Dee will want to tweet her and tell her. Turned out awesome. Of course, when does anything Dee Dee do not turn out awesome? Always turns out awesome. I'm just sort of, they don't have to be perfect, but. Uh, Dee Dee, these are dividers for my Wonderlust journal. I am uh, making my Wonderlust journal for the class. It starts in January, but I have so much going on between now and January. And that one's really, really crooked. So let's see if I can get it before it totally sticks down. Oh, November. Well, good one, Jean. All right, March. <laughs> April. November. <laughs> okay. March. I need April. Oh. May. Oh, Paula, did you do your challenge already? Man, you're quick with your challenges. Oh, I missed getting tape on my June. As it fell. Yay! Way to go, Judy. You may make me go to Dollarama to get some diet snacks, too. Don't tell Dot, though. June. July. August. September. 
So these are all jelly prints that I'm using for my divider pages. Old jelly prints from a couple of years ago because I haven't jelly printed in a while. Although this one I think was a recent one. <sighs> oh no, that was a no, that was a that was a folder too. No, so that's not recent. Oh, yeah, so now that November's in the wrong spot, and it's going to annoy me, so I'm going to take it off. And... I'll put new tape on. So I could have just taken it off and put the right one on it in the first place, but oh, well whatever right oh good paula good 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 I was, I was thinking you should be getting close to your weeks needed for that. Okay. And December. Guys will be like, yay, she's almost ready to start you showing us her cinch. Okay. All right. All right, so let's show. So there's the covers. I've got some clear pockets, one for the front, one for the back. I've got my dividers ready. They're going to stick out a little bit, but that's okay. Hi, Shira. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I could have, Galena. It's just easier, I think. <clears throat> All right, so the cinch. This is a punch and binding system. All right, so I'm going to zoom out here. Oh, maybe not all the way. Hold on. Uh oh, hold on. My seems to be very loose for some reason. Hold on. That's why it was moving on me. Okay, there we go. All right, so it binds. All right, and it will punch up to 12 holes. 
the cool thing is that about this is you don't have to punch. Oh, are you watching Aunt Paula? Are you watching closely? All right, let me get some regular card stock to punch to show you guys some different things that you can do. <laughs> yeah, Paula, I know how good you are at that. It, it worked so well with the uh, Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard, didn't it? All right, this extends so that if I need more than 12 holes, I can punch more than 12 holes using this. This end is for the binding, so I'll talk about that part later. So let's let's say, all right, so this page is 11, 11 inches. It's kind of a messed up one, so that's why I'm going to use it as my sampler. So this is 11 inches high. And so obviously one set of punches is not going to work. So I need to know how far to move this out for my second set of punches. So there's a guide right here. And so you go to 11, then punch number 10. So when I do my second set of punches, I'm gonna move this all the way out and I'm gonna pull out number, what did it say? 10. So if any pulled out won't punch, but I'll show you that later. So it says pull out 10, all right? So what I do is first I punch it with all of them, with all the knobs pushed in. And this pushed all the way up, which paper all the way to the back and punch. Now this can punch up to... Uh, six or seven 110 pound card stock depends on if you have bad shoulders or not but this is 110 card stock and it went through one of them like exceptionally easy so now you can see that that gets the first six inches off my hi shy Did someone say shy no shara oh I don't think Shy came in. I don't see Shy. Thanks, Sharon. Doesn't have those instructions? Oh, mine was the old, old version, and it still had those instructions on the front. Well, I'll screen, I'll do a screenshot for you and send it to you, Paul, if you want it. So what I do is pull it all the way out now for my second punch. Pull out number 10. And here on the side, there is a little knob that will go in my hole here so that it doesn't move on me. Okay. So right here, there's a little knob that you press down. And it goes into this last hole there to hold it secure. Okay, and now I'll punch, lift this up. All right, so now I've got the same amount of space on the bottom and on the top. So now let's say I'm going to punch this way across, pretend this one's not there. So this is eight and a half this way. So it says number five. So for my second set, I have to pull number five and it means number five is not gonna punch. So do my first one, oops. I'm going to do my first punch with them all pushed in and push this uh, measure bar all the way to the top. All right, so there's my first punch. 
Now, my second punch. Oh, my uh, my memory is good, just really short. Number five. So I pull number five. One, two, three, four, five. That means I only need four more holes, right? Because I'm pulling number five. So I put it in. Put my little placeholder down so that my page doesn't move on me when I press and I press. So now I've got perfectly aligned holes on the eight and a half side. Sorry. Hey, Glenda. Ah, uh, no worries. I know some people have a life unlike me. Well, not much of one. Anyway, I'm going to see if my BFF wants to go for breakfast tomorrow. So I think we need to have a gab fest, you know. So let's say I want to do some really fancy All right, let's trim this down to, um, hold on. I'm going to trim this off. This was just a really ragged piece of, <laughs> Diane uses these in her journals. Okay, so let's do six inches. All right, so let's say I want to make a journal like this, a nice landscape journal, six by whatever it is. I want to bind it on this short edge. But let's say I want to kind of do a fancy binding. I don't want holes all the way down. Maybe I want... All right, now when I... Oof. When I set this in, I can see that... I think I cut it at six. Six. Number 12, yeah. Obviously. All right, and the reason you want to pull that is you don't want to have half of a circle cut at the end, like at the top of the, at your page or whatever. Okay, so my six-inch page is going to cut properly with that. But what if, okay, what if I don't want holes all the way down? What if I want maybe three holes? Let's see, three, and then, oh, okay, I want to do three holes. I've got 11 holes. So I want to do three holes, skip one, three holes, skip one, three holes. Like, so you can do fancy stuff. So I'm going to pull out this one. So I'm going to pull out number four, and I'm going to pull out number eight. And so now there's two holes there that won't patch. So then you can just have, like, this really cool binding. Okay, that's a good question, Eileen. If your pages, okay, if your pages are six and a quarter, all right, you're going to trim it as if it's six inch, and you're going to move this down half of the difference. So you're going to move it down an eighth of an inch because you can see here. All right, I'm that just because Eileen was trying to make it not work for me. So there, Eileen, I'll show you. It is a good question, though. So it's six and a quarter. My page is six and a quarter. My pages are six and a quarter. It only has a six inch. So... What you do is going to punch it as if it's a six inch. So I'm going to pull my 12, my number 12. But I want to have the same on the top and the bottom. So I, I instead of leaving the whole extra quarter inch at top, 
I want an eighth inch at the bottom and an eighth inch at the top. So right here, I'm going to pull this down an eighth of an inch. Oh, hold on. Okay, so I'm going to pull it down an eighth of an inch. No, no, I have to do it the other way, don't I? No, that's right. Pulled it down an eighth of a punch. And now I still have the same at the top and the bottom. So you go to your closest. No. So you can bind seven by ten. Uh, Paula, do you want to bind them portrait or landscape? CB, it can't be too much math for you. You taught math. Yes, I am, Dee Dee. But I, I'm going to get Dee Dee. I'm going to get... Um, I want Paula's question to be answered. Uh, okay, so my covers are nine and, what did I make them? Nine and a quarter or nine and a half? Nine and a quarter. Okay, so my covers are nine and a quarter. So I'm going to do exactly what I just did for that one. And to Okay, it's number six. Oh, now mine laid down once I got to a certain point. This one's not going to lay down. Interesting. So what am I going to do? Hold on. Oh, it does. Oh, good. Because I have to lift it up. All right. So my pages are nine and... Covers are nine and a quarter. So I have to move it down one eighth. And I'm going to bind them, I'm going to punch them both at the same time. So the first, sorry, I need to make sure that didn't move. Okay, move it down an eighth of an inch. Uh oh. I thought it pushed it in. There we go. Okay. Hold on. What's going on? Okay, that's up. One more. And. Oh. And this is punch them all. That's the back cover. Now I move it all out. Sorry, nine inches was number six. Pull number six. Pull number six. Okay, hold on. And I need to go eight and, sorry, eight and seven eighths here. And my, this should catch my hole. 
There we go. All right, cut my hole and punch. There we go. Oh, wait now. Oops. Messed that up. Hold on. I almost messed it up, I should say. There we go. Wait a minute. Ooh. What's going on? Sorry. There we go. Sorry. Got it clicking. All right. Now I had to do that because as I said, of course, example, my covers are a little bit more than nine. They're nine and a quarter. So I had to do the same as with that six inch example. All right, so there's my front and my back cover. Now, these inserts are all just nine, so I can just do it normally. So I'm going to punch them all first and then move it down. So I'll punch them, punch the first punch first. I'm going to do these two plastic ones at the same time. Oh, you heading at Joan? Joan's not lazy. She had a very weekend. You'd be nice to my friend, Dr. Dot. Some of these didn't seem to be, have gotten cut very straight. <laughs> yeah, that's, okay, hold on. I'm just going to do three at a time because they seem to be, one of them seems to be a little crooked and it's driving me silly, but that's okay. You are so funny. <laughs> Janice. Oh, and Sharon, too, you silly girls. I don't think so. Remember, I'm in Canada. All right. So now, pull it all the way out. Pull out number six. And... Catch it in my little. Uh, punch. Uh,
trying to watch chat a little more today because I'm not watercoloring. So I don't know if I've missed anyone coming in or not, but. Oh, it's that one that's way off. I'm going to have to put some. Uh, it didn't go in right. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have to put some uh, tape on that and fix it. One moment, please. They're kind of uh, folding on me, so it went in a little strange. I'm going to put... Uh-oh. I have some black masking tape, cloth masking tape. It's like, I don't know, it's black artist. Anyway, it's masking tape, but it's cloth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that here on the edge. Put it, put it on both sides here. Hold on. One moment. Let me get that out of the way. That was my mistake. I didn't get it pushed in. See how it's curling up on me so it didn't get pushed all the way in. So My fault. Will I punch your book for you? Sharon, I think it would be just as cheap to go to Staples or Office Depot and get it done, honest. I was trying to mail it here. I mean, Mars, remember, it's going to be like a decent amount of postage in each way. Let's do this again. Push my number six in. Make sure it's up all the way. Push it all the way in. Make sure it's flat. That's what happens when you try and do curly pages. actually put this on its um, findings now because the pages are going to go in August, September, April, May, June, July. January, February, March. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, when you're binding, I need to know how many the wire comes like this, but I'm not going to need every ring. So I need to count how many holes. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one messed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17. So I need 17 loops. And I couldn't find my wire cutters. I remember when I was doing my big clean out. We came across my wire cutters in here. And my helper was like, oh, you need to put these in your... I guess these need to go in your um, toolbox. And I was like, no, 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 they stay in here. And I've always had them in my spinny thing. But I cleaned out my spinny thing when I went to my last crop in May. And I must have taken them out, and now I don't know where they are. Anyway, so um, some people do cut them with their Timmy scissors, but I... Don't want to ruin another set of Timmy scissors because I ruined trying to cut what was thicker. Wire. Anyway, so I need seventeen. So I need to count seventeen loops: one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So it means I need to cut right between those two. And I'm just using my kitchen scissors. Which I broke. <laughs> yeah, because I said I didn't care if I broke them, and I broke them. So now I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, cut that. I'm going to have to try and do my Timmy scissors. Timmy scissors. Ugh. Let's try this. Now I have to cut it again to make sure I'm on the right one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 17. Timmy scissors work. So now I'm going to turn this around. All right. Up here it tells me what size I am going to bind. These are one inch rings. So I push this down and I turn it until it's up to the one inch. There we go. That's just going to control the pressure. It's going to push. But right here you can see. I'll hold it up here. Uh, just for a moment. There are little hooks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang my rings here. All right, I'm just got my right, right rings hung over there so that I can put my pages on. Now it has to go to the edge of your desk or whatever you're working on. Now, here's the thing. Now my other pages that are going in here are going to be slotted so I can put them in after. But I have some, I have a few ready to go. So I'll put them in after January. All right. So there's my pages, my front and my back. Now, here's the thing. Where this joins, you want it to be at the back of your book, all right, at the back of your book, not at the front, okay? So you take your back page and you flip it over, all right? And that's how they're going to go on the rings. So... <clears throat> Okay, hold on, that plastic's stuck differently. Oh, I didn't do my second punch. Oh, for goodness sakes. I didn't do my second punch of my plastic sheets. Ugh. Gonna be hard to get them in without holes on the top, isn't it? 
All right, I'm going to do it upside down. My six is still pulled out. I thought it sounded like it was raining out there, but it's not raining. It's just breezy. Oh, hold on. I can't do it that way because I can't see. Can't see to get this lined up properly. There we go. It's up just not coming in for some reason. And then like these. I think it's just because they're, there we go. They were sliding on me. All right, sorry. One at the front. And one at the back. All right. Oh, it's not, Glenda. It's not that much work. I just, I just, for, I love doing this. Oh, see, now that one messed up too. October. Uh, all right, hold on. I better check them all. That's what I get for trying to do curly paper. I apologize, but you know, this is. The rest are all okay, I think. Check them all one by one. Okay. This one is so bad, I thought I'd just do it half and half here with the black tape to fix it. <laughs> Oh, she was trying, Janet was trying not to be, she was trying to be blase about it, but she really liked it, I, Azzy. She really tried very hard to be blase and pretend she didn't like it, but she did good, I must say. She did good. Remember, folks, that was user error because I did not make sure all my curly papers were lined up properly. And I put them in the cinch. <clears throat> all right. Sorry. I'm making everyone say, oh, now I don't, for sure, I don't want one of these. And it's like, yeah, well, you know. Okay. December. November. 
All right, the rest should be all right. So I'm making this so that uh, my other pages, the pages I'm actually going to do my artwork on, will come in and out, just like with those disc journals. And yes, you can do it with this type of binding ring as well. You just have to hand snip the holes of its own, but it works. All right, I'm just sitting all of the pages over the rings. I don't have too many, so I can have it sitting on the... All right, these pages are already snipped, but I was testing it the other day to see. Okay, so there's that. Then there's the front cover and then the back cover on top. Okay. So... Get it so that they're halfway around. Then I'm going to sit it under the binding part. Push. Hold on. I'm going to turn it this way. So what this bar does is sets the pressure so that it closes your rings but doesn't totally squash them on you. And I need to do another. You want them to overlap. And mine aren't all overlapping. I wonder why that pressure does not seem to be. Now, I need this up here still because I have to punch the rest of my pages. But So now you have your book. Ugh. Okay. Now see these pages. I can carefully pull them out, work on them, because what I did was after I punched them, several and several at a time, I used my Timmy scissors. I went down and just snipped in the center of each, and then I can go back and put them back in. Now, you can't do it 20, 30 times, right, because it's not going to, you know, Especially this paper, especially is just uh, it's the Canson mixed media XL uh, mixed media paper. So I know a lot of them work on watercolor paper for their art journal, and I'm like, I'm not wasting water. I shouldn't say wasting. I am not using my watercolor paper. But when they're in, they'll flip like a normal journal. Okay, so now I need to snip. Some more pages or punch more pages and snip them so i've got the rest of my journal here for those of you who came in late i have these punched in this 
in a binder that has D rings, but I, I just don't like the way, and by the way, this binder was a small binder. So the D rings were in a different position than um, a regular three ring binder. So I used my cinch before it seized up to figure out, I just figured out which three of these, which three of my pegs I needed to use. Okay, so anyway. Yep, Dee Dee, this is for my Wonderlust. This is for my Wonderlust. So that's, oh. <laughs> That's really weird. How come that happened? Oh, I need to check. I might, my thing might be full. Ah, it's pretty full. There's a little tray in the bottom that collects all your confetti, which no, I do not keep the confetti. That must be why they didn't all punch. Let's try that again. Oh, no, that, never mind. That was already punched there. Oh, my Lord. Jean. Yeah, see. I had peanut butter on nan bread before I came on, but I, I guess my body's hungry for more than that right now. Oh, little too much. Many pages. Too many pages, Jean. See that page? That hole was already there. <laughs> Silly me. So these are six by nine pages cut in half from a journal. Yeah, well, I think I just wanted, I did buy, like I said, I bought the Diane Reevely journal. I'll use it for a regular journal. But then I kind of thought, you know what? I'd really like to be able to take my pages out and work on them when I'm doing my wanderlust. So instead of having to make sure you have wax paper and yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I do, Joycey. They have really nice paper. Now that she's got it, my my first one was the old version, and um, the white paper in it was not great. But now they have all just the Manila paper, and they're really it's really nice paper for mixed media. Bye, Julian. Hope they have good food there for you. But I still use most of my first one. But yeah, I do notice a big difference in my second one, which is the newer version. Because I, well, I just on my pages usually anyway. So that kind of sorted the huge issue with the other one. All right. That should be more than enough. So let's uh, pull through, pull this out. Number six. I 
I've been known to uh, see. That one is off. I've been known to be lazy. I may have to fix that set for some reason. It messed up. Um, I've been known to be lazy and not bother putting that little peg down, thinking, oh, I can hold it straight. And yeah, it, it moves if you don't put the... All right, so now I'm not keeping the same ones that I punched together. Okay. These aren't quite lining up, but I think they're going to work okay. That's really strange because I don't know what I'm doing because when I did those other ones, they all lined up perfectly. It's really weird. going to be a few too many. Let's try. Okay, so these should work. All right. Yeah. All right. I don't know what happened to that other set. Very weird. Something very strange happened. To the queen? How did you get one with her sign, sign that she signed to the queen? Must have been in a, in a class with her or something. The queen of bad students, maybe. You really like it? Well, I had the I had the bind it all before I had this, and I. I messed up a lot more with my bind at all than I do with this. Let me tell you, I was constantly messing up. And I have made journals where I've used cool bindings. I liked it enough, but I really, really like the cinch. I find it much easier. <clears throat> much user, much more user friendly. I find it easier to punch. Oops. Miley. I haven't seen the buy. The Office Depot does the smaller binding, though. Oh, that sounded like I got a text, but it didn't come through on my computer. One moment, maybe it was a different warning. Hold on, I thought it was a text. No, oh. never mind. I think I'm being optimistic putting this many pages in my book, but we shall see. 
I've got to do better at doing more stuff. Of course, right now I'm that totally messed up, so I'm not going to use those. Of course, right now I'm crocheting every second that I'm awake. So, except when I'm streaming. <laughs> All right, so now I'm just going to take these and my Timmy scissors. Still have to stamp my cover. I just realized I didn't do that yet, so I'm gonna. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me do all those snipping because you just, you just saw me snip. So put those in February. The arc punch? No, I, I don't really like, I don't like all those big icky discs, Dee Dee. I really don't like those discs. And I don't think you can stamp, I don't think you can punch as many pages. I'll put those all in later. I'll put those in later. No, I guess I have to do it now. For some reason, it's being annoying. Yeah, I don't like the big discs, and then I don't have the option of, like, doing a binding where I don't have them the pages removable, right? This way I have both. I can make removable pages, or I can make permanent pages. So I think I have the best way. Plus, I just paid the shipping for this. So, from Patty. She generously got with her extra binding rings. All right, so I need to stamp my cover. And I'm going to use my VersaFine. Okay, so I'm going to do all capital, I think. W, A, N, D. This is actually um, one of those... You know, those, the things that Bren's been crocheting and making, the rubber bands, a rainbow loom. It was actually a rainbow loom box. <laughs> it was sold as a rainbow loom box. But um, I got it on half price. I would never pay the full price they wanted for it. But it fits my two favorite stamp sets, so... E R I don't think there's any rapid repeating letters, are there? 
now U S T. Oh, thanks, Glenda. <laughs> Even with my couple of mistakes, but at least when when you see my mistakes, you know that they can be fixed, right? So, and D E R, and then I think I'm gonna go L U S T. Oh yeah, and then I have to put twenty. Then I'll put. 2019 there. I have to remember to put 2019, not 2018, you guys. Yeesh. What do you think? Hey, Darla. Nice to see you. Hi, <laughs> Didi. Even when I growl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Now I think uh, I'm going to open it. It's nice to have a little bit under it, but I think I had too much soft stuff so i kind of did it half and half there okay i'll take the last off for a moment all right i want to have my I'm gonna have my stamp, my stamp box open and put them away. As I do this, I'm just gonna stamp off on this piece of paper. That's how I clean my stamps. This is permanent ink, ink so. All right, and I'm gonna do my R. Yay, Eileen. Woo and I'm getting messed up on the edges, but uh, you know what? I'm really don't care. I'm pressing too hard as usual. I bought some insulation uh, for my pot holders I'm knitting people for Christmas because I forgot that I needed it between my, because I'm making um, dishcloth, dish towel, pot holder sets for my sister and nieces. Oh, I went way too close. Oh, no. How did I do that? Oh, well. <laughs> Wonder. Anyway. 
Right. I guess I should have just done them in order and then that wouldn't have happened. L. I forgot, like the blocks take up so much more space. Oh, sometimes I wonder. Wander, wander, last. Do I sell them? No, but I can make you something, Dee Dee. Oh, I could put the... Oh, good idea. Okay, so I'm going to put my L down. You... Okay. Good idea. I'm glad you said that because I can do that with my... I can put my UST under here. Good idea, Dr. Dot. Okay, well, here's the deal, Dee Dee. I will, I'll knit them up because I've never sold them before. So I'll crochet them up and then I'll see um, how much I charge for them, okay? Because I've, I've, uh, this is my first time making them with this particular pattern. So, and I'll give you a fair price. How's that? All right. And then, okay, 2019. Ugh. My numbers always fall over because the space is a little bit bigger than it needs to be for the numbers, so they always fall over. Okay. Okay. So that works well. Maybe I should do should I do them in a different color? I think I need to do them in a different color so that I need sepia. I have, it's the only other versifying cut. I have versifying the sepia. It'll just be a little, enough different. Well, I'll see, Eileen. I've got my re-inker. So I'm going to re-ink my ink pad, and I'll see if that's the issue. Because, as you know, I was having trouble stamping with them the other day. And if they don't stamp well, I will be complaining. Because they're certainly pricey enough that they should be decent polymer. I mean, look how well... Janet's stamp today. And I have tons of polymer stamps that stamp perfectly, just as well as red rubber. So it sh not, shouldn't be an issue. I will. All right, that May, thanks. So this is Versafine, it's the uh, sepia. There we go. Thank you for that idea, Dorothy. That worked good. Worked well. Sorry about that grammatical error. All right. Worked well. 
And I may mo add more to that cover at a later date. We shall see. What time is it? 10 to 8. You know what I always like doing? I think I might change my mind. Hold on. Who the boat? I wonder which. Uh, where is my... Just a minute. I'm gonna try something. I have a favorite way that I love to do letters. Now, in order to use my white ink pad, I'm really gonna have to make sure these are clean. So I'm gonna put my baby wipe down here. Cause I just may, I like my white ink. This is my memory box, memories white ink pad. I like the Stampin' Up! white ink as well. Because here's what I like to do. I like to stamp it. Then... I haven't seen, I haven't done art journaling in so long. I completely forgot my favorite way to do titles. Except that ink, let oh. me stamp it up. That might work better. That's my chocolate chip. Where's my white ink pad for stamping up? Oh no, don't tell me it's gone. Let me try my chalk ink. Maybe it'll work better. Hold on. Hold the fort. I don't know if it's the ink pad or if it's this. This is 110 pound. Oh, I think this is going to be better. This is my chalk ink by Colorbox, and it might be better. Make a tag where each goes back in the journal? No, because it's going to be in order. There, see, that's much better ink. All right, so I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm, I need to eat, so I'll do it later. But I am going to... Okay, I'm going to kind of cut it. This paper is so thick. I'm going to cut it closer to the correct size. Then it's easier to tear. And I didn't dry the ink, so now I've got white ink on my thumb. Oh, I'm glad you made it. Hey, Melody. Yeah, this color box. Oh, I love my color box chalking. Chestnut Roan color box, chestnut Roan ink. Oh, I think I, I think I still have it. It got wet, really well used, let me tell you. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for my I think that's what I'm gonna do for my title. I really like that. I like the black added on to it. Yep. So that's what I'm gonna do for my this back away. So thanks everyone.
thank you for coming. And um, so I have to going to finish the cover. I'm going to finish um, the rest of the pages, get those put in there. And um, yeah, see you all later.